Hello and welcome to the Tableau Advanced Dashboard case study. And in this case study, I want to show you the example from my Advanced Dashboard training where I teach how you can create step-by-step -step Advanced Dashboard. Now those are the steps or those are the output. I want to give it to you so that you can go ahead and create a dashboard. Also, it is a good way to assess your skill set that whether your skill set is advanced enough or not. So a lot will go on in this dashboard case study and I will show you what you need to achieve step by step. And if you face any problem, you know, you can go through of one of my previous case studies or tutorials to go through it. Couple of links I have already given in the uh, description below that will going to help you create dashboards like this or create, you know, calculations like this. With that, let's get started and see uh, how the advanced dashboard configuration looks like. All right, so first thing first, where is the data set? The data set is present over here. This is the attrition.xls. The link is in the description for the my main folder data set. Within that, this particular data set, I have kept it in the Power BI. However, I'm using it in Tableau. So you can come in the Power BI folder and this data set is available. Also a couple of more. Uh, based on the scenario plus if you are interested in power bi then you can download this workbook as well the dashboard which i have created okay with that let's go to tableau so in tableau once you connect to this data source this is how the data source will going to look like which is where you have the attrition information you have the attrition date you have department education education field employee number so on and so forth right employee count and so on and so forth the the survey and and the rest of the other details so a lot is going on in this data set data set is simple so in my trainings i just make sure that you know i keep the data set simple or straightforward the reason for this is there is a lot basically going on uh, before even creating the dashboard because as a subject matter expert or as someone who needs to get the data to finally create the dashboard either you have the responsibility to massage and clean the data or someone else in the IT department has the responsibility so what I'm assuming is once you have got the data now we are starting with the dashboard process right because dashboard in itself is a very lengthy and tedious process especially when you need to create a professional dashboard okay so once you have what you need to do, there are a couple of KPIs that I am creating. So for example, I am creating the attrition rate. So you need to know how you can create the attrition rate right like this. And uh, this is nothing but based on your attrition, whether someone is attrition, yes, that means the, they have moved out of company or no is active employee. So what formula you will write to create the attrition rate. Similarly, once you have the attrition rate, it is important to give them the actual count. The manager wants to know out 237 uh, is basically the count of 16.3, 16 16.12%. But then 237 out of what, right? So out of 1233 uh, active employee is what you have right now. So this is not truly out of but basically it says that 237 is your attrition employee to 1233 is uh, is active employee who is currently working right now but if you want to know out of uh, how many employees 237 is coming so basically what you need is 237 plus 1233 3. that can be the fourth kpi which i have not created but as part of this case study i'm just telling you how you can go ahead and find that information as well so you will get to know out of total employee how many you have active employee and out of total employee how many you have the attrition employee then what you need to do is come over here and see the attrition and uh, sorry show the attrition uh, by active employee and the attrition employee so this orange -ish indicate the attrition and this indicates the uh, active employee and it is shown by the department right so for hr how many for r d how many active and attrition employees sales how many attrition and active employee right so that is something we need to show it over here now there is one more uh, one other interesting thing about this uh, entire exercise is that it has this high level toggle button so this toggle button basically helps us uh, by toggling into whether we want to show 
only the attrition employee as the color indicate this attrition which is if you see is similar to this or we just want to see the all the employee that means attrition or active so what i mean by that is over here if you see the dashboard that i have created this is a small configuration just to showcase this and that's that's how you need to configure it with the help of the dashboard actions is that once you click over here it basically shows that it is off and only you are viewing the attrition employee and once it is enabled it basically shows both attrition and active employee right so this is an effect which will be at dashboard level uh, for the creation of active employee, active and attrition employee or only attrition employee. So that is what the toggle button configuration is. Then you have the job role. So what you have is a job role, the different job roles that is being provided, uh, whether it is no or yes, right? So this is something what you need to do. And uh, gender, again, the same information, attrition and active employee by the gender. Uh, how many female employees you have uh, as active and attrition and then male employees. So clearly it looks like male employees are leaving a lot from the companies. Age group, that's how your visualization should look like, shows how many active employees you have and how many attrition employees you have in it. So that's one of the uh, uh, innovative way of uh, showing the visualization and this is where you have the group information like where your age group is. So this is also something what you need to create to create a visualization like this. Now this shows uh, by age group. Also, we have the education. So this basically shows the attrition by education uh, as to what the education of the, uh, per of the person of the employee is. So clearly life sciences is where a lot of people are going. Medical is, sorry, um, uh, yeah, life sciences where a lot of people going, then it is medical. And looks like these are the two very big departments that you are having. So clearly looks like it is a data from a sort of a pharmaceutical sort of a company or company which has the medical sort of a background, right? So you have basically two field, education and education field. So if I come over here in the data, I will show you, you have education and education field. So you need to create two charts which should toggle based on education or education field. That means there should be some sort of either a toggle button like this or maybe a parameter which, which indicates that what do you want to see? You want to see the attrition information, uh, attrition and active employee information by education or education field, right? So that's another dynamic behavior you need to achieve uh, when you create the dashboard. But you need two visualization here. Uh, not, sorry, not the two, but one visualization which will indicate whether you want to view uh, education or education field. So if I show you, I have created this configuration using the parameter. So education field or education, the same chart is getting changed and then I'll hide this card. Okay, so this is a chart you will going to create as part of this exercise. Then another very interesting is uh, based on whether you want to see the trend by week, trend by month, trend by quarter or trend by year, you know, it should show like this. So what do you have is basically if I just take that up, uh, you have the um, something called as uh, period selector. So if I show this parameter, this is year right now. But if I select week, it doesn't show anything because we are in year sheet. So what where we go, we come over here in week and week is displayed. But nothing will come in month as well because week is currently displayed. So again, I will just show it over here, same parameter, and I will say month, and then only month will display, nothing will display in week. So what we are doing over here is we are dynamically displaying this information, which in the dashboard, you can choose, click on button sort of an interface, which I have created over here, month, quarter, week, and year, and then each sheet will display dynamically, right? So that is also one of the advanced configuration you need to do. Not only this, the another advanced cap configuration is something called showing based on the selection. Since I have selected the month, so it shows previous month. If I'm selecting week, it shows uh, how much it was the, uh, how much it has changed from previous week or previous quarter or previous month. So this is also a dynamic calculation which we want to give it to the user to indicate 
how much attrition either in positive or negative direction compared to the period you are selecting right then what do i have is the uh, environment satisfaction uh, this is basically four different type environment satisfaction or job satisfaction so what we are doing over here is based on the survey setting of environment satisfaction we are plotting it onto some sort of a heat map indicating uh, where the attrition is high over here that means the rating is low and 4 is the high right so clearly uh, attrition employees what is the rating active employee what is the rating right but then an interesting thing is based on these two measure we are having a different color there is a different color for attrition there is a different color for active now that is something you need to achieve because this is not straightforward reason for this is on the color you have only one value but over here we are categorizing the color based on whether it is attrition or it is basically your active and that's what you can view it over here so this is also a sort of a tricky configuration which you need to figure it out and spend time as to how you can achieve it right and finally what do i have is basically the uh, attrition details sheet which is basically uh, what you have is the different attrition information uh, based on the employees who have been attrated and the latest uh, basically you need to sort right now it is not sorted based on the latest i believe because you have may 3rd 2022 april 30 but this needs to be sorted in the front end to show the latest attrition and then you can filter it by let's say by department or employee number to view the information so all of this once you have it you need to put it in a configuration where you can create the final dashboard and how the final dashboard will look like let me show you how it will going to look like because all of this is coming from an inspiration that i am having uh, based on which i have decomposed this each and every uh, component of it and then finally we put it together in a dashboard okay so here it is this is the dashboard that you see and this is coming from information is beautiful awards and uh, this is where they pick and choose the best in the best dashboard and this is something which is created by pradeep kumar right so this basically shows this attrition information in such an innovative way and that is how i am creating also the final layout uh, this is where you have the title this is where you have the toggle button this is where you have a dummy company name um, if you remember this is attrition rate total attrition current employees department job role attrition trend based on what you are selecting it is coming over here attrition versus previous month survey score demographics right gender age group education this is where i showed you environment satisfaction similar type of configuration and reason so it looks pretty straightforward okay what's what's going on nothing right i mean attrition rate and all of that these pie charts and all then bar chart but the trick is in the details like how would you configure something like show only attrition how would you come configure something like attrition which is dynamic not only sheet is dynamic but also the comparison right and this indicator i have showed you negative sign but even uh, in my training i showed you how you can produce the indicator right which is also a tricky thing then this one is a tricky thing this is is a tricky thing right and over here you can select education or education department or education field so and then putting it all together in this type of a format is also super super tricky when it comes to con configuring the dashboard and that is what i try to cover i pick the best in the best dashboard from the industry and then i i basically uh, you know spend days understanding it how you can you know uh, convert it into a fully functional dashboard so that tomorrow you can submit your uh, you know dashboard like this into this information is beautiful awards and and get the best out of the tableau skills so that is something what i wanted to show you how you can create this i hope you will enjoy practicing it you have the data set you have the final output i showed you how you can break it up uh, i mean the final output as to how to break up each each one and then configuring it within a dashboard like this so you need to do that 
if you face difficulty or if you really want to learn how to create such dashboard then come join my training i'll teach you step by step with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next video